Hello fellow computer enthusiasts, welcome back to ILTP WC, my name is Christian, hope you're doing well today. In today's episode we will demystify Docker Swarm. I will explain everything you need in just about 90 seconds. So are you ready? Then let's go. Docker Swarm is a native clustering and orchestration solution for Docker. It turns a pool of Docker hosts into a single virtual Docker host. Swarm uses a standard Docker API, meaning any tool that already communicates with the Docker daemon can use Swarm to scale to multiple hosts. To illustrate, let's say you have a simple web application running on a single Docker host, but your user base is growing and you need to scale. That's where Docker Swarm comes in. With Docker Swarm, you can take your single service application and distribute it across multiple hosts, enjoying high availability and failover strategy. Docker Swarm uses managers and workers. Managers dispatch tasks to worker node, which runs a task. A swarm can have multiple managers to ensure high availability. Swarm, you simply initialize a Docker Swarm on a manager node, then add worker nodes to the swarm using a join token. Once added, Docker services can be created and distributed across the whole swarm. Docker Swarm also supports service discovery. It assigns each service a unique DNS name and load balances running containers. But you may ask, how does Swarm compare to Kubernetes? While Kubernetes is powerful, it can also be very complex. Docker Swarm, on the other hand, is very straightforward and easy to use, making it a great choice for smaller teams, your home lab, and simpler use cases. But wait, there is more. If you are diving into Docker Swarm, you are not alone. The Docker Swarm community is buzzing and vibrant. Whether you are looking for troubleshooting tips, best practices, or just want to share your experiences, check out Docker forums, Stack Overflow, and even subreddits dedicated to Docker. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of ILTP WC. If you like the content, please smash that subscribe button and also hit the like button. And if you have questions, please just write a comment in the comment section. I'm really looking forward to talk to you. Thanks a lot and bye bye.